success. Diva, what are you doing? Are you going to eat some of this? Yeah. Eat some of this, Dave. Look at yum yums. Oh, he's yeah, loving it. Don't be scared. He's loving it. Look at how close he is to me. Mm, Dave, he's such a good boy. He is. He oh, he's like my buddy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. My buddy. I see the food in well, today we're at the shop and we're going to work on this one. Uh, you'll, uh, I'll put the camera down and we'll show you what we got right now. I just got this in the shop. So, uh, this had a w wicked kink in it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to bend it out of there little by little um, and zip tie that up. But I got it to work. And... Uh, So I'm going to try to clean out the carburetor and uh, we're going to go through this today. See if we can get this freebie running. Well, after some assessment, one, it didn't have a spark plug in it. Two, uh, there seems to be sand in the gas tank. It's totally empty and none got in the carburetor, but I'm going to take that tank off and clean it out first before I put any gas. And the oil, whoops, and the oil was totally empty. So uh, I'm going to get started cleaning the tank out and we'll get back with you. Well, you're going to see what I see. I'm going to add some gas to her. I cleaned out the gas tank, put it back on, put the cover back on. We'll put some gas into her and see what we got. some white powder all in the gas tank so I didn't I didn't want to put no gas in there. I don't want to put too much in now anyways but put a little bit and see what we get. Give her a couple of squirts and shit. Tie it up. I probably want to clean the carburetor out. It seems to be stuck on on high. So we'll stay tuned. Let's try her now. I don't know. Give her a couple of gas and pumps. set the alarms off a little smoky because I just uh, cleaned the oil out and whatnot but look she's a runner sold well I was supposed to show you this repair so I figured I'd turn the camera on before I got too far uh, what's going on is this uh, carburetor is giving some big problems like it won't let the things fire up um, so instead of trying to mess with this and clean it all up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it. Um, a buddy of mine, uh, this belongs to the guy who made my banner, um, Airbrush Works, um, at airbrushworks.net. Um, he dropped this off, 
and uh, with a new carburetor. So the new carburetor, those are the, the ones he got. He got this one from China. So it's not going to be the exact same. It will not say still on it. Um, I did look at it. Here it is. It is exactly the same. The only thing it doesn't have is the still logo onto it. So we're going to try to get this uh, replaced. Take that one off. Put this one on. Connect all the uh, throttle and everything. And uh, fuel line. And see if we can get this running. <clears throat> Looks like Dave's working on one. So the way you pull this off is uh, it's slipped on like that, the throttle. You just pull the uh, carburetor off the two bolts. You slip this forward, slap it off. This is the old one. You can see it says still. It does say China too, but uh, it's a still. The replacement doesn't say still anywhere because this is directly from China. So the way you slip it back on is pretty simple. It's uh, slipping this back through just like that. Slipping the pump of gas or thing. Well, you can get these two in the holes first. And then slip this pumpy gassy thingy on. And then what comes up here is the fuel line. That squirted me. You guys missed all of that. <laughs> I kind of did too. Sorry. Yeah. I had to go make a. That goes through here. Oh, I... it got in the way. Oops. I right. got it. Look at look at the skill Dizzy has. Boom. Chaka waka. I didn't even drop a drop. Didn't even drop it. So you make sure that's on there. It pops into this groove here. Fuel line. That one's all the way in. This is the air, so when you pump the bubble, it actually sucks the gas through. This is the throttle, and then you put it back on. Don't forget this, your outlet on the bottom when you get it close. Um, this has to slip inside there. You have to kind of weasel that onto it also. If you got little fat fingers, it's tough, but not impossible. Because look, my stump did it. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then it's just trying to put these back in the holes. Here we are. You hear them? What? All the motorcycles outside today. Yeah, I should be on that ride, folks. That's uh, oh, it's a sad thing. It's for my stepdad, but I just don't have time to go this this time. I want to. I want to be there. Busy's busy today. I got a live show. I got friends coming over. I got a ton of things going on. I can't see if that's in there or not. All right, so we'll let you get to that screwing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it looks like he's done no, with I'm the screws. <laughs> you are foolish. You are a nut, Tina. <laughs> This screw screws on the cover. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm learning now too. Is uh, this was a peg, but it actually screws on with the lid. See, I've never done one of these before, and I can't see at all. Just to let you know, but I did get. 
that bolt. Turn this bolt all the way in tight. I don't know what choke is or what. I never started one of these, this particular type, so I'm not sure. Oh shit, that don't sound good. Go talk to Billy and see what he what he says on this. All right. Walk across the street. All right, later. So I plugged her in nice, and uh, she's holding that uh, 150 even. 150 even. Oh, what's that set? 90 pounds, somewhere there. 100 pounds is set at. Something. But uh, she's nice and quiet, all filled up, not leaking nowhere. Just to let you guys know, it's running beautiful. The the echo. Let's get to that. That echo. Um, it ha it blew a rod, and we were trying to fix the carburetor for nothing. So the echo is gone. Um, I did save some of the carburetor parts. Um, I do have the the curb retreater. Um, somewhere on that on this uh, desk right here so I did save the carburetor I gave it back to him and told him we're gonna keep an eye out for another one for him it must have got overheated and um, blew a rod so we he's gonna look for pots maybe and I am too um, but do we find them who knows so we're gonna get back on to working on this engine um, we're going to try to fire this up next, try to get it in the go-kart to go, and uh, I'm going to also work on this engine here. It needs uh, that pull cover with the uh, pull thing onto it and uh, probably a cob clean and all that crap too. So we'll be getting to that soon also. Uh, I went and hunted around for some of my air tools uh, just to show you guys that I, I can use this damn thing for myself. Um... I did have this, I do have this, look at this. You do see has got a nice impact gun, air. You see, I was preparing, it's been sitting there and it's got a little rust on it because I never used it, never ever used it. But it's been moved around a thousand times. And this, uh, this DA, uh, it's just a Harbor Freight special but I've had it uh, probably about two or three years uh, I did try to use it with this compressor. This is the one I had, uh, but what a bullshit thing that is. Um, so I do have these things to use with it so far, and this, uh, my little nozzler. So, uh, and uh, another thing I found was I, I do have this. Um, it's a an air dispenser or hoser thinger real but it was black it was wicked wicked dirty like you can tell it was dirty as that I wiped it all down it probably needs a good cleaning but I wiped it down and I started wiping the hose because this is the color of the hose okay but this is the color of the hose <laughs> and if you follow it look at it it's just dark nasty nasty and underneath that uh, I believe it's it's orange so I'm going to keep continuing cleaning that. 
Um, I'm gonna wait till I have a buddy here to come and help me with this. I think my nephew Josh is gonna come so I do it right. But I am making progress. I'm pulling out some air tools. I do have some things, um, so that's cool. Um, another thing was, uh, I remember, Hazy Days told me I never riveted before. So you ever seen one of these? This is one of the, this is the Riveter uh, 150,000. Have you ever seen a Riveter like that, Hazy Days? I bet you ain't ever seen a Riveter like that. You wish you had one as cool as this, Hazy Days. So, yeah, Hazy, by the way, I, I have riveted, and I've got different sizes and whatnot. The one that's missing is the one that's in there. Um, so that's pretty cool, huh? So you dizzy, uh, he's getting some tools. And I'm going to start an air set, you know, because I want to try this. I want to hook some air up to this. Um, I got this lubricated so it actually pulls in and out. See that? Did you see that? So now it actually moves. So maybe I'll find a fitting for that and we'll get to try this. Now, yeah, who knows? Well, maybe... If it doesn't work, we'll use it as mufflers. Oh my God. So, that's that. In this bike, uh, I tried to put the engine on. I went and got some bolts to put the engine on, but the problem here is I've got to drill new holes because the old engine was a three horse and the holes don't line up at all. So, I'm going to have to put the chain on, put the clutch on adjust the engine where it's supposed to be make some marks drill some holes that's going to be a minute not too long but i'll have to get to that um i did oil this um i drained i don't know what they use for the for the earl but i ran it twice and uh checked the oil again and it's it's perfect it's clear as day, and it's it's mint. You can see the level of it. So I'm freaking proud of this. It's, it's nice, and I don't want. I'm gonna disconnect uh, this and run this thing straight out to an elbow to a uh, block on the wall here, and then an elbow, a block on the wall over there, and then one down there. Let's see after that cabinet. So that'll be nice. Just some updates in the New Dizzy shop for Frigga Sacks. I got all my batteries charged. We got this one charged. I got the jumper pack charged. This one's charged. And I was working on, I finished charging this. And I took this uh, light I had for the police bike apart. All right, because I have it on an extender pole that I can mount on the back of the bike. And uh, I did some finagling around with this light here. And look at what you dizzy did. Oh yeah, I did. Pull it over. So thanks for watching you dizzy. Tune in next time when we do something else crazy.